all martial arts essentially have been learned from animals at least that's my understanding of things we watched animals fight and then we discovered different ways that they would fight and we mimicked it maybe that's not completely correct and exhaustive but there's at least been a ton of that so i'm going to break down some some animals fighting this one is gorillas we're going to break down how gorillas fight and then we're going to see if any of that information is useful to us so i'm going to slow this down because things happen quite quickly this gorilla is running at the other gorilla his head is elevated higher than the second gorilla so this is the attacker i'm not sure what the situation what happened in this situation um, beforehand but he's coming at him with a big heavy like overhand strike but look at the organization right head is over shoulders shoulders are leaned a little bit in front of the hips and the legs but that's forward moving opponent that makes a lot of sense this uh gorilla here looks like he might have got caught slipping a bit and now both arms are coming up right both arms are coming up head is still over and it looked like this guy was trying to grab that other gorilla's head and pull it down now it didn't work now this guy is over and this guy, because he was pulling down, right, his head has gotten under him. Okay, what was that? Okay, so homie ran in from the side with a sneak attack. Like obviously you're not gonna, especially if you're not, there's no ref, like we just clap him before he realizes what's going on. But this guy raises himself up right raises himself up immediately and that seems to be a bit of a pattern right and again that left arm there tried to pull him down lower boom grabbing his head trying to trying to snap him down so there's your wrestling snap down now these guys can't operate on their feet for very long but it does seem that one tries to get over the other one often trying to get over and pull the other animal underneath yeah over grabbing the head punching and grabbing the head and then once under this dude just shoots a double leg essentially looks like what he's doing maybe he's lunging at the genitals trying to bite them right there's no rules but that kind of makes sense because if this guy is way over you might as well go under oh, almost had a front headlock grip over here so it was over the guy came under so came down and tried to grab the head And now we're, they backed up, right? And back up on that high posture. Look at that organization of this skeleton. Head over shoulders. Shoulders are a little up in front of hips, which I think is a little bit more structural for these guys walk around on four legs most of the time. But the fact that they're trying to go up and over, right? Up and over and their, their back's quite straight, their head's quite straight up over their legs, or sorry, over their chest. I think that's important. Yeah, up, over, grabbing, trying to pull down, grabbing, trying to pull down. Okay, so some of these are gonna be in captivity and animals in captivity are gonna act different than animals out of captivity, but it is what it is. They probably still fight quite similar. Okay, so homie just charged in from the side. This guy was walking away, turns to face him. There's a real truth, right? Always face your opponent. Make sure you're always looking at them, right? And then this guy lunges in with a big shot. In order to defend homie number two here, up, backs up and gets high. Because if you're down here and you've got crazy amounts of weight and pressure, maybe with claws attached, dropping down on you that's not going to be a fun time the gorillas it seems really like to be over top of you over you get you under them yeah this, yeah see it's like who can be bigger and taller who can pull the other guy down to the bottom yeah so just the threat there 
this guy's coming in like he wants some. And then this dude is like right away, like up, like you want some, come and get it. And I'm going to destroy you. I'm going to come right down on your head. Yeah, like right there, right? He started to make a bit of a movement towards him. And he's like, ah, come on, Len, come on, let's go. He didn't stay down here and like go, oh, I'm going to get under you as you come in, right? Or just meet you at the same level. Immediately elevated his position in order even just as a threat, which that's that body language that I was talking about in the Conor McGregor video, how Conor's like, oh, oh, whatever, let's go, let's go, right? Like he always makes these big, tall shapes with arms outstretched, right? Which is much more dominant visually than something that looks more like a, a, a boxing or a wrestling stance that we, as we know it. Oh, so that guy didn't want to fight at all. He's just backing up, backing up. And I think because he's so worried about disengaging, that's why he didn't come up. Because like this seems like, oh, you want to fight? Come and get it, right? This seems like, I don't want nothing, right? But he's like, I'm, I'm no like uh, biologist by any means, but I'm just trying to interpret it as things uh, with my knowledge of combat as we know it as humans which also isn't exhaustive, right? So the aggressor is making himself bigger, making himself taller, reaching his arms upwards to come over. And the dude who doesn't want to fight is staying down and using all of their legs to back away while obviously mouth open just in case something happens. And that seems to have disengaged him from the conflict. Okay, so again here, aggressor coming up. Now second dude wants to fight, right? So, well, at least isn't ready to leave, right? Isn't ready to leave and back away. So he takes some, sp uh, creates a little bit of space, but comes up to try to get over the attacker. Yeah, grabbing at the head, trying to pull down, pull down. Looks like partner B here, or fighter B that was being attacked, has actually gotten to top position. Let's see what they do with it. Boom, boom, going in. Okay, so maybe now they're actually gonna show the full fights and those were just clips for the intro or something. And yeah, staying over, attacking downward, attacking downward. Now they've both kind of leveled their heads out on the ground. Every strike seems to, or the impactful strikes, seem to really be done with this overarching downward force. Very interesting. So there are some, some exchanges where they're both operating with all paws on the ground um, in close range. And it seems like in that situation, it's like who can attach to the other one's neck area. Seems like they're like biting each other using mainly their mouths as, as the weapons, which the mouth is a, a fantastic weapon. I actually, uh, I actually chewed on a guy at one time uh, when he started to fight dirty. I was fighting pretty clean and then he decided he wanted to fight dirty. So I just started gnawing on his face. He immediately decided he didn't want to fight anymore. That was a long time ago. <laughs> I was like 21. But uh, all that to say like the, the mouth is a, is a crazy weapon that we often don't think all that much about. And I feel like if we did think of it, it would probably change the way we grappled and wrestled for combat purposes. Yeah, trying to get over, trying to get over. And the other dude really doesn't want him to get over, man. He's like, the guy's trying to come up and he's backing up and coming up because obviously if somebody is able to come down on your head and push your head towards the ground, you, you can bite them, they can't really bite you very easily. What is this human doing? What the hell are you guys doing that close to a gorilla, man? Is this in the wild? Y'all are stupid. This, is, this should definitely be on everybody's list of things not to do. 
I'm here to see gorilla fights, though, not gorillas maul human beings. Although that could that could definitely be useful because you see like what they're attacking, what their killing mechanisms are. I don't think a human's going to be much of a fight for a gorilla. Okay, so yeah, the beating of the chest is a big thing for them, right? It's like showing strength, right? It's like a very threatening action, but it also requires them to get off their hind paws or front paws, sorry, and get up, which like that elevated position, that's pretty threatening. We just talked about that. Uh, man, this is really unfortunate. This video isn't the best. All right, so we can't go through this whole video because it seems that most of these things are uh, a gorilla is attacking humans or like threatening humans, which that's not exactly what I'm interested in. I'm interested in what happens when two animals of the same species fight, what their tactics are and what they're looking to do. So we got one more here. This one I, I remember from the intro. Running in from the side, teeth bared, coming up to bite towards the neck, hands are up. The defender comes up so he doesn't, so the other dude doesn't come over him, goes backwards while coming up, and then swipes at the head trying to pull it down. Again, the attacker comes up and over. Seems like they get over this time, almost, no, that the defender continues to build their posture up, get their head high, so those front paws are available to use. Oh, but then dives for the legs. Here's that one, yeah. Okay, coming over, over, can't go over, go under, and it looked like you tried to grab at the leg or swipe at the leg in some way, and the attacker actually like backstepped. Look at this, uh, look at this left leg, right? The right arm is gonna go towards the left leg underneath. Can't get over, go under, and the back steps like it was like a, trying to get away from a single leg or something. Okay, and then what happens after, right? He almost ends up in like a front headlock kind of position, right? But doesn't stay there. Immediately comes back so they can come up and over. Right, those of you that have seen our, um, we shot a little video on what happened, what ways to chain wrestle if you fail a takedown. And that was one of them, right? I go in and I'm getting shut down. I'm disconnecting from the legs. I'm not able to effectively get the legs. I'm gonna pull back out and that's gonna allow me to get more over. The defender pulls back out and then comes up, right? So they're not getting trapped on the bottom. It does, it does definitely seem that gorillas are hyper worried about getting trapped on the bottom, right? They do not want to be underneath their attacker by any means. Because as soon as that happens, there's all, their head is available to be attacked and all of their killing weapons are facing down instead of facing up. Now, I feel like this is how most powerful animals are operating. We're gonna break down some other animals in the, in the near future, but I know a little bit about how bears fight and I, I guarantee you they do this. They try to make themselves big and strong, right? Big and uh, appear bigger than they are and they're trying to come over their opponents, right? Because when they're just walking around with all paws on the ground, all their weapons are pointing down, not pointing at their opponents. I feel like in gorilla fights, and I don't know this to be true, but I feel that this is the case. In gorilla fights, in bear fights, on big, powerful animal fights, it's pretty much a competition of who is the biggest and most powerful. If I can get bigger than you, I can push you onto the bottom, I win. What will be interesting is when we go and look at some of these other animals that are not necessarily considered big animals, big, powerful animals, what kind of tactics do they then use in their combat because I would imagine they probably have a little bit different take on it. Maybe they don't. Maybe maybe I'm just I'm rolling with something that that uh, that I will will be quickly disproved. But um, I'm really interested in this, and and the the gorillas definitely are following the trend that I've 
already thought existed because of my understanding of how bears fight, which we will break down as well. Okay, now this is really cool. Let me know if you think it's cool. If you have any other comments about it not being cool or whatever's interesting about it, let me know. Always like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Peace. If you wanna fight in MMA, like this right now this is the perfect time to sign up for my pro fight guide every single video that i ever release including the anti-wrestler guide which is like 70 plus videos we got the mma basics course that we're building right now getting new videos out there every single week this is my 22 years of mma experience bottled up in one package i fought in the ufc i train elite guys ali wasuk just won the belt bfl bantamweight champion if you want to be like this guy get into this course right now you also get access to my private community you'll be able to talk directly to me send me things that you're struggling with say you're getting armbarred by everybody getting smashed by wrestlers you're getting ground and pounded whatever the situation is let me know and i will personally help you i can send you videos you can send me your training videos, but I'm not letting too many more people in, so get in now before we close it off forever.